An Alberta family says it's hard to read this investigation into their mother's death. Josephine Iwashko had been a resident at this nursing home since 2016. She started developing urinary tract infections over and over, sitting in wet and dirty diapers for hours, says her family, who also say staff wouldn't listen. I would go there and she'd, all of a sudden, she'd kind of pull it herself and she would say, ow, ow. Her son remembers helping his mother out of her wheelchair, noticing the seat of the chair looked dark. I reached down and touched it and it was so soaked in urine, it was as though you took a sponge out of the tub. The family also complained that their mother seemed thirsty, that her water glass was often out of reach. I later find out that the information from that care meeting never made it into mother's care program. The nurse said he was just too busy to do that type of paperwork. In November of 2018, Josephine was transferred to hospital. According to an investigation by the Alberta government, she was barely responsive. Blood work detected critically high sodium levels, an indication of dehydration. Skin in her mouth was sloughing off due to dryness. She died shortly after. Nurses and care aides told investigators they were too busy to care for Josephine. A computer system that tracks the health of residents issued a dozen alerts about her condition going downhill. All were ignored. Sometimes I feel like a hitman because we were paying to have our mother killed. That's how I feel. And it, it's not a good feeling. Only Alberta and Nova Scotia have the ability to issue financial penalties when nursing homes don't deliver proper care. But in this case, the Alberta government did not fine extend a care, saying only the home could be fined if it doesn't follow a number of orders, including educating staff about the importance of hydration. I can't imagine how they could go to work and then go home and have a good conscience knowing that they didn't do what they were supposed to do. This seniors advocate says regulators across the country need to be given the power to find nursing homes and to use that power with repeat offenders. We need to ensure that there is a quick and unequivocal system in place to bring operators into compliance. I was hoping that mother would have her last years with a little bit of dignity, which is a tough thing to do when you have dementia, but uh, they failed. There was no dignity. A spokesperson for the nursing home says extend care is very sorry about the death of its resident and has taken steps to address the situation.